So, Guardian Arcanine here with you. I'm going to be addressing a problem that a lot of PK Hex users um, run into when they're trying to gen Pokemon from either the third or fourth generation. Now, a buddy of mine, the Crobat Man, came at me and he said, Hey, I need you to fix something and show me how to do it. It's from the fourth generation, it's from Pearl version, and it won't let me have uh, the stuff I want on it, and, and it's not going to let me have the... Uh, basically what he was getting the the two messages what we're gonna solve is the PID nature mismatch message and the encounter type PID message now the reason why the reason why these uh, pop up is because in the third and fourth generations wild encounter Pokemon uh, their IVs and their natures were directly linked to their personal ID their personal ID numbers so it was so for any specific personal ID number, uh, the wild encounter for that Pokemon would have to be a certain set of IVs and a certain nature. So I'm going to show you all how to fix that real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and open up PK Hex, and we're going to we're going to go ahead and knock this out right quick. Uh, there's another tool we're going to download in just a second. I'm going to show you that in just a second. It's going to go ahead and open this. Open up the Mamoswine here is the problem right here now let's go ahead and look over this just to show you that everything's correct jolly it met at level 34 that's what level you can catch swine up in is in pearl I already did my homework on that um, and it's a wild encounter and everything so it's no not some kind of weird breeding thing um, stats are good well uh, seemingly look good except that's a little fishy let's go ahead and change that to six that's a good tip right there just by the way um, you always want to make it add up to 510 if it's fully trained because two missing EVs is fishy but it doesn't really matter that much um, so let's go ahead and fix this baby up okay so the reason we're getting this is because of the is because of the PID thing alright so we're gonna what you're gonna need to download is you're gonna need to download this the RNG reporter Okay, you want to install that. Okay, and once you get that installed, I have it right here. You want to open that up, and you're going to see this. It looks kind of confusing at first, but what, but what you're going to do is you're going to get it to report all values possible on, um, on, on that specific wild encounter, and then you're just going to copy one of them that makes sense onto PK Hex. I'm going to go ahead and set this to 1,000. The starting frame so that it's just a smaller target area and um, we're gonna go ahead and go down to method which one is it okay method J the diamond pearl platinum one okay uh, we want a jolly one so we're gonna do jolly right here ability right okay oblivious because hidden ability didn't exist back then so we're gonna go ability one uh, encounter slot 80 doesn't matter and he wants it female specifically so we're gonna do female since this is a 50% breed I think hope this works nope not that one that one I think I think it's a 50% male female and we're gonna make sure it's notated female because it's also linked to the gender of the mon so let's go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and do this one as well just to make sure I'm safe. I, I don't know if there's any difference between these two, but I'm going to be safe. I actually just discovered this a little bit a while ago myself. So, here we go. Uh, this one... Yep, this one looks good. So, what we're going to have to do is the highlighted one right here, that works. We're going to copy this PID into right here. So, it's going to be... got the way. So the PID is going to be 2F94 C727. All right, we're not done yet. We're also going to need to go over to stats. And it, it delineates every single stat that, that, uh, that the IV should be for that wild encounter because they're not just going to show up as all 31. That's that's madness. Back in those times, that was very that was almost impossible. It, in fact, it was impossible because every PID came with a specific IV combo, and it was never straight thirty-one. 
Okay, now that we've got that done, we should be 4, 21, 19, um, 4, and 31, 31. Yep, should be right. Let's go ahead and click confirm, and we're legal. So that's all it is, folks. That's, that's all it really is. The, um, it's just that the personal ID is directly tied to the gender, the nature, and the and the IV values. Now you can, since we're in Sword and Shield, what you can do is you can just set it to level 100 and then just give it caps, hyper train it, so that it's got perfect IVs anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Um, let me know if you found this helpful. I uh, I'm gonna try to figure out the ball situation in the third generation next. So I think I think I had it figured out before. I just need to remember how to how to fix it for good. So like, subscribe, you know, usual YouTube stuff. Thanks. I'm out. Bye.